this man, Ray Wander, who appreciated what I could do. He'd never seen me before. And we began writing a, a really wild show where I played all the parts. And uh, we wrote it around whatever sound effects I could find in the sound effect closet. We didn't write it and order sound effects. We started by finding the sound effects. It was kind of mad, and uh, I didn't get paid in money. I got paid in acetate discs. Do you remember what those are? Those big discs? Big yeah. plastic discs. And uh, I sent those to William Morris in New York, hoping that something interesting would happen. Do you think that experience prepared you for comedy writing for television? Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure, especially having to do it, you know, having to get it out and get it on the air. But at the end of six months, they had a thing called the Hooper rating, which was like Nielsen, only it was for radio. And no one ever tried to get me a sponsor. I was despised at the station. The station was mainly, uh, I belonged to an evangelist, uh -huh. and uh, he showed no interest in me. But when the Hooper ratings came out, it turned out I had a very high Hooper rating. So the, the, N the CPS station hired me. Uh, $35 a week, which was a fortune. And Wander, who was my manager, he got 40%. He had me sign a contract, so he would take 40% of my $35, and he would say, boutonniere money.